Hi, my name is Nate Wilburn, and I'm a board certified behavior analyst with Brett Denovian Associates. In this video, we'll be going over area F3 and G20 of the BACV 5th edition task list. Habit reversal training is an evidence-based, highly effective behavioral therapy for individuals with unwanted repetitive behaviors or habits. Habit reversal training includes four components, awareness training, competing response training, social support, and motivation procedures. Habit reversal training has been successfully used to decrease speech influencies during public speaking, tics, and hair pulling. A speech disfluency is any disruption in normal flow of speech in public speaking. It can distract listeners and impact their overall performance as a speaker. The article comes from our BDA's very own Brittany Powick and Perrin 2020. The purpose of this study was to evaluate the effects of awareness training and competing response in reducing speech disfluencies during public speaking. Frequency data were collected for three forms of speech disfluencies, field pauses, tongue clicks, and the inappropriate use of the word like through audio recordings. The competing response training included reminders to pause for three seconds, then continue to speak. After the implementation of this procedure, all participants' level of speech disfluencies immediately decreased and remained near zero levels. Awareness training has also been used to successfully reduce a tick for one of four children with chronic motor tics. In the Winslow and Klatt article, included awareness training and self-monitoring to reduce chronic tics of a nine-year-old boy with Asperger's syndrome, Tourette syndrome, and attention deficit disorder. At the beginning of each session, the therapist identify the target tick and that the participant should be aware of it. Next, therapist and participant define the target tick. Then, the therapist and participant stimulated and identified each tick occurrence. Lastly, the participant was instructed to identify each occurrence of the target while he worked with the therapist. If and when the participant independently identified a tick occurrence, he was provided with verbal behavior-specific phrase, a high five or candy. If and when the participant failed to identify the occurrence of a target tick, the therapist identified the tick and asked him if he detected its occurrence of the tick. If the participant stated that he did not detect it, he was provided behavior-specific phrase. If the participant stated that he did detect the tick, he was provided behavior-specific praise. If he said he did not, neutral feedback was provided. As a result, ticks decreased by an average of 82% relative to baseline rates. These results suggest that awareness training as implemented in the study was sufficient to decrease the occurrence of each tick. In the Rap et al. article, only three components of habit reversal training were evaluated. Awareness training, competing response training, and social support. During awareness training, the participant was taught to detect every instance of hair pulling, describing what it felt like between his or her fingers and repeating stimulating the behavior without actually pulling hair. During the competing response training, the participants were encouraged to engage in a competing behavior, folding their arms, sitting on their hands. Each time there was an urge, hair pull was detected. During social support, the caregivers prompted their child to use a competing response when necessary to provide praise for using a competing response for the absence of hair pulling and noticeable hair regrowth. As a result, there was significant reduction in hair pulling for all the participants. Let's discuss how habit reversal training can be applied in practice. If you're a coach, a mentor, a supervisor, and you're assisting an individual to improve public speaking skills, consider awareness training by recording a brief one or two minutes of he or she speaking and have them identify their speech disfluencies. If you're working with a client, consider using awareness training in conjunction with self-monitoring or other components of habit reversal training to reduce behaviors such as chronic tics or hair pulling. Thanks so much for watching and to disseminate the science, share this video.